Hello everyone! <laughs> um, okay, I kinda am a hypocrite right now. Disclaimer, this is just my own silly opinion. Sorry about that. This is my own silly opinion. Uh, don't, um, don't look into it too much. Um, okay, this is a review for Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. <laughs> so, um, I really liked it. <laughs> okay, to be fair, I like almost every movie but there are movies I hate but so far I really loved Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes I really liked how it didn't rely too much on it relied on it it relied on the original trilogy but it didn't rely too much on it and I really like the idea that Caesar the the fact that the original trilogy of the Planet of the Apes was uh, in somewhat biblical in nature, Caesar is treated as like a Moses figure or a Jesus figure. No, no offense to religion, but he's like a some sort of messianic godlike figure in the movies. And I really appreciate the way they convey that movie. Um, I also really liked um, Noah's struggle, uh, his character arc. Um, I really liked how he came from, like, he didn't know anything, essentially, about Caesar's past, and eventually became, becoming, um, the new Caesar, in a way. I also appreciate the fact that he's named Noah. The fact that he's Noah, it means that he's, um, it's a reference to Noah and the Great Flood, which is very interesting. It's still stuck with the biblical aspect, and that's fine. Uh, I really like that um, touch. I also like the Proximus. I mean, I don't like him as a character, but... I mean, I don't like him as a uh, person. <laughs> he's not a real person. But as a character, um, he's one of those villains who are, like, cowardly when... when they're, like, facing danger head on and too arrogant enough to like turn to danger if you know what i mean when they when everyone's watching but i really like how proximus was conveyed in this one he is essentially somewhat like uh what's what's his name colonel the colonel from the third movie and he's kind of like um Kinda is, but not really. He's more like a false prophet kind of deal. And I really like that um, reflection from religion. I don't know. Uh, some negative points from the movie. Mm. Can't think of anything. <laughs> I just really like the movie. I, I like movies, that's it. Um, I, I guess I didn't like how... Unlike, unlike, it's not fair for me to compare to the original trilogy, I know. But the original trilogy had more, it was darker. And I guess I preferred it to be darker. But it wasn't as dark as, a, as it is. But it's fine, that's nothing. <laughs> Overall, the movie was um, probably 8 out of 10 or 9 out of 10. 8.5, 8.5 is a good score. Um, <clears throat> sorry. I really liked how the gorillas were conveyed as, like, guardians, protectors, but at the same time, they're, like, in this movie, they're conveyed as, like, barbaric military types, like, in the original Planet of the Apes series. And I really like how the chimpanzees, or that tribe, specific tribe of chimpanzee, were more like pacifists and they were like um I, I really thought that the fact that they were domesticating already eagles and hawks sorry about that at the time that was really really beautiful i really loved that the way they conveyed i keep saying conveyed <laughs> this is my first review i'm sorry the way they placed uh, ah, I don't know, I'm good at the <laughs> The way they showed 
domestication at such an age, it made sense because they descended from human culture. I mean, I don't mean that they descended from humans. I mean that they, their culture descended, kind of? It descended from the environment that used to be hosted by humans. And we could see that human evolution or some crap like that. Uh, cultural, societal uh, growth was shown in that movie. They started uh, drying fish, for example. They started making clothes. They started rearing animals. They started... Um, I think they were farming eggs. I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure they were. Re- most of the eggs were being reared into like pets or something. Like the hawks. I think they were hawks. I don't know. But yeah, that was very interesting to see. And I loved how the movie showed that the apes were split into several tribes which made sense i mean i th- when i first thought of saw the movie's trailer i thought that proximus was the descendant of caesar that wasn't the case likely it's more like that um they descended into different tribes they split into clans and the reason for that is well that's how society works that makes sense uh, sorry i'm geeking out because uh, uh, my course is political science <laughs> in the Philippines. But I really liked that. I loved that. I loved how they grew from this, like, one tribe of, like, all hail Caesar, uh, um, we are the uh, pseudo-Israelites, to basically now they're, like, they descended into tribes. And then instead of, like, becoming, like, um... Becoming like one nation, they essentially split into one guy's a Roman Empire practically. One guy is enslaving the other guys. And I really found it funny that Proximus basically invent, reinvented slavery. That's not a good thing in our world. But I find it funny that um, the way that people, the way that their, their people reinvented the flaws of our society. That was beautiful. That's not a good thing, but it's uh, it, it, it was beautiful in a way that you get to see how society grows and society becomes, you know? They had the same mistakes as ours, and I really, really love that. I just love the film. <laughs> and what else do I love? Um, May, she's, she's a cool character. I guess I really like that humans are basically like, treated as ferals now they're like they're like treated as the way the apes were once treated before and the way she yelled noah you know you know she she sounded exactly like when caesar said no you know you know my god i love that not exactly but it it felt like that you know it was amazing i love that and I really loved how Proximus is basically a bonobo again. I think he's a bonobo. Or maybe a hybrid, I don't know. I don't think they can do that. But that made sense. Because if he was a bonobo, um, maybe he could be descended from Koba. Or we don't know. But overall, the film had... Uh, it felt like another a season 2, episode 1, you know? It felt like Rise of the Planet of the Apes. But, you know, it went back to, it went back to its original state, to the beginning, you know, a new beginning. And it, I know I shouldn't compare, but to be fair, the second and third films were darker. The reason was because the first film was always light. I know, I feel like I know that the second and third films are going to be just as dark as the next films. I mean, as the previous films, the uh, Dawn and War. My favorite moment in the movie, I guess that was when (laughs) the gorilla ripped out the guy's spine. My God, that was terrifying. (laughs) I really like how orangutans are also like these scholars. 
Like Raka, my God, Rapa, Raka is my Rapa, 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 Raka. Um, he is my spirit animal. He's everyone's spirit animal at this point, apparently. And that's good because he's, he's such a good guy. And I really like that they had this uh, discipleship going on. Like the Order of Caesar, kind of like the the first few apostles. I'm, a, I'm also a biblical nerd, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm a Catholic, I'm sorry that I am. But I, I do make fun of religion sometimes, so that's cool. <laughs> I do make fun of it. I also make fun of atheists. Uh, it's 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 a balance, you know. You gotta you gotta make fun of both sides. <laughs> but seriously though, um, uh, I really liked that. You know, I liked how biblical it was. I like I liked how society was formed, and I loved the way they overall treated the original trilogy. They were legends practically. That's how it should have been. That's what Far From Home was trying to do, but it didn't work. For me, at least. That's what they should have done with um, Tony Stark and the original Avengers. They should have been legends at that point. But they didn't touch too much upon that. They wanted to be their own thing, and I get it. But <sighs> I wish Phase 4 was better. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. That was good. It was a good movie. Yeah. Oh, I got it a thumbnail. There, that's a thumbnail. Alright, bye! <laughs>